What is your impression of working with the pen? It's incredible. I've spent a lot of time drawing with it, and um, it just it feels so natural. Show the um, in sketch the. Uh, yeah, I can actually. The, uh, you know, the side swipe. This is the side that was really interesting. Yeah. So we spent a lot of time tuning everything to work with the pencil. So if you're drawing vertically, we give you a normal pencil stroke. But if you go on the side, we're actually letting you do some shading. We vary the tool sizes. So for things like markers, we've got like a thin marker and then a thicker one as you go on the side. Now physically, it's not making that much contact on the screen, but it knows the angle? Yeah, are so you actually it, pressing on no, the side? It, so it knows the angle, and then okay. you are pressing on the screen, and the harder you press, the darker of the mark you get. But the width of the mark, is that exactly proportional to how much of the pencil is touching the screen? Or is no, it just calculating? It's, it's just based the on okay. the tilt, yeah, yeah. I mean, it could be, it could be sort of any variation, but we're just doing it based on, okay. on tilt. Um, and the tools all behave differently, so something like watercolor. So the degree of tilt, though, does affect the width. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so all the tools, we tried to model them, you know, pretty closely to real world tools, so. Um, you know, some of them react more to tilt, react differently to tilt. Um, with watercolor, for example, when you tilt, we're laying down more water so it blends a lot more. But with the pencil, we're doing, you know, some shading and different things and, you know, combining those together to make them feel as much like the real drawing what, tool as possible. The, the effects that you're showing are proprietary to Adobe? Uh, you built with the pencil? Yeah, so, so they're built into um, this app is called uh, Adobe Photoshop Sketch, and it's a painting and drawing app, and okay. we built that into that. But I'm sure tons of developers are going to take this and do yeah. you know, their own things with it. Um, but the exact, um, how it exactly works is some, is based on the developer's app of what you're... Right, right, okay. right. So every app can implement it slightly okay. differently. Okay. 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 And is that three finger swipe? Is that your gesture, or is that the iPad? That's ours. Okay. And so, in, um, is in, an undo feature? Yes. Or? Okay. So I can show you how it works. So it's um, it's three fingers down, and you'll see this history line. And then as you scrub back, um, you're basically undoing and redoing every step along the history. So we're remembering, you know, every mark you make, and letting you undo it. Got pictures of. Uh, have you seen this one? This is a 50 megapixel photo. Wow. <laughs> In Photoshop Fix? Yeah. Wow. So this is from somebody's like crazy Canon or Nikon camera. I don't even know what camera it came from, but. Incredible. You know, super, super high res stuff, and it's, I mean, it's fast. Mm hmm. Um, even in Photoshop, that would take a little time. Yeah. I mean. And then you just be able to like remove something from the photo pretty easily. Um, you decided you didn't like the number for, for some reason. <laughs> you can remove all the numbers from the dials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so get rid of all this stuff. Cool. Yeah. The ruler actually, well, it, it does two main things. It will allow you to, if you're using one of these tools, um, draw lines for the ruler. So I can come in here and actually uh, and then the draw a straight line. So it gives you a, a ruler to measure with capability. And, well, and, also, and also do the straight edge. And then the other thing is that, um, like a real ruler, it'll mask other tools. So if I have a tool that's very sloppy, I can actually use ruler to uh, mask the edge of what it does. And it snaps to different like 45, 90, and so on. And with markup, I can actually come in here and use the pencil to annotate. So I could, for instance, draw here on it and say. Yeah, it's different than the silicone. Yeah. And then actually attach that in the email message I sent. So, there are a number of places in the system where we actually support uh, input users.